Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Living Free With Little. My name is Debbie. And then, I just wanted to say, this is a, just a, going to be a quick, short video, hopefully. You know how I talk. <laughs> um, I just wanted to show you, uh, I've been going out there and getting my suckers. You see that uh, I have two tomato plants in the back, and then I have now volunteers in, uh, with my other ones. So, I'm starting to get tomato plants up, which is kind of good. Uh, here in Tennessee, in Middle Tennessee, um, we still have tomatoes in November. I'm, I'll still be able to harvest. Um, and I'm kind of glad that, you know, I don't have such a big harvest because it's been over, this is the first year it's been over 110, like like in the hundreds for th almost 35 days straight in a row, um, they're saying. So, but other than that, you know, because we like to make our tomato sauce, but it's just been too hot. I haven't been able to do any canning because it was just too hot. Um, here you go, I want to show you. I took these off instead of putting them directly in the ground, which they were dying because of the heat. And look at this. Look at all those roots. So now I'm gonna let them stay in here for a little bit. I changed the water a couple times, um, maybe two or three times uh, a week. Like every three days I do it. This is like a week later. Now this, I mean, I only put them in here because of the fact that um, it, they were too small for, I didn't have anything small enough to go in there to stand up. I didn't want them to well. They're doing okay, okay, but the roots are not that that great. See that? And they've been in there as long as, sorry, uh, you can see the little roots on there. They've been in there as long as um, that one, and I don't know maybe because how small it is, but I think directly in. Wait for a little bit to when they get to a certain size and then do it like this. Don't do it when they're tiny like this. I don't recommend that. But Patera is right. Um, I just can't believe uh, the roots. See it? That's beautiful. Another thing, I might start learning how to grow all year round inside my house. Because um, you just never know. Uh, if we get a bad, you know, heat like this again... At least I have a few in the house that I can actually, you know, harvest from or whatever. And it's just a test run. I'm thinking about doing that. I have a grow tent. I have a reason for it. I might use it for this benefit of trying. So I might take one of these um, or wait until November when things start dying back. Take some of the suckers off of there, put them in water and test it out and see if I can keep it alive all the way until we start seed for tomatoes. And here I can have one. So it's just a test run. So, and I'll keep you updated on that when that time comes when we do that. So, all right, I thought I'll share with you and show you what's up. This, yeah, I highly recommend if you could, if you have any um, suckers, take them off and do this and make an hour plant out of it. Especially if you have time in the season where you can get tomato plants. It's like I said, it's too late for seeds to start. Do this. All right, guys, have a good one. Bye now.